The name of the Parsha Vayikra means, and he called, and is written with a small Hebrew letter Aleph. In the book of Chronicles, Adam's name is also written with an odd-shaped Aleph, but this time the Aleph is large. Adam knew he was special, having been created directly by the hand of Hashem. Rashi explains that in Parsha's Vayikra, Hashem's calling Moshe was a sign of endearment, as Hashem loves humble people, and Moshe Rabbeinu is known as the most humble person who ever lived. The well-known lesson is that we are all children of Adam, with the spark of Moshe's soul inside of us. If we want to be as great as Adam could have been, we need to be as humble as Moshe was. And what was Hashem talking to Moshe about? The Korbanos, the sacrifices one needed to bring to Hashem in the Mishkan, the portable sanctuary in the desert. The five types of Korbanos required an aspect of humbleness. When a person brought a korban, his mental focus was crucial. If his mind wasn't focused on the correct meaning and intent of the sacrifice, the korban wouldn't be valid. For example, if it was brought to atone for an unintentional sin, he had to have in mind regret over his actions. Meanwhile, the Kohanim would concentrate on the higher spiritual realms according to esoteric traditions. And as we know, the word for korban has the same root as the word karov, meaning close. In fact, one brought a korban to feel closer to Hashem. When we work on our humbleness, making ourselves like a small olive, we are reminded that even though we should think well of ourselves, we should always remember that there is something even greater than us in the world. And this will automatically help us feel closer to Hashem. Good Shabbos to everyone.